So today we are bringing to you a very different kind of property tour. This property is one of the most luxurious penthouses in the entire Singapore with a size of 7,244 square feet and more bedrooms than you can even count. This penthouse also comes with a private swimming pool and a private jacuzzi. Welcome to a new property tour. Let's go. Now this penthouse, as you can see, holds this incredible crystal chandelier. And not only is there one crystal chandelier, there are actually a total of four chandeliers in this incredible house. Now these chandeliers are made up of crystal that have actually been intricately designed piece by piece to ensure that the finest materials are actually given for your luxury living as well. Now if you look to this side over here, you will think that this is just an empty canvas. However, there is actually a hidden powder room that is very very intricately designed for your living experience as well. If you see this powder room, in a normal circumstance, in most powder rooms, they actually just slap on a coat of white and that doesn't actually make the powder room that nice but this powder room has been really nicely designed with rectangular mirrors that open up such that you can store all of your lipstick, your makeup and other accessories inside as well and this vanity actually matches the entire sink and the entire design and architecture of this powder room very nicely. Let's head over to the living room. So what I love about this living room is how really spacious this living room actually is. So the designers of this place have actually built the living room such that it offers a lot of light as well as a lot of privacy mixed together as well. In a lot of spaces, you see that when a living room is actually very open, a lot of neighbours can actually look inside this place. But in this living room, in this penthouse, in Marina One residences, you can see that this living room is huge and it offers a lot of privacy and natural light from the outside and amazing, incredible views as well. Let's head over to the kitchen. Now welcome to the dining room as well as the open concept kitchen. Now this dining room is spectacular because it can fit a total of around 10 people and there is a beautiful chandelier that is hovering right above this dining table. Now this chandelier is extremely long and is full of crystal and LED lights that actually bring out an ambiance for true luxury dining experience. If you come over to this side, you will see that the open concept kitchen is actually fully utilised and extremely well thought out by the developers and the architects. This open concept kitchen only contains top of the line appliances such as Mili appliances and it is fully fitted with ovens, with microwaves, with a coffee machine as well as a water dispenser. Now all of these appliances are actually nicely fitted into the wardrobe over here to fully maximise and utilise all of the space 7,244 square feet to its maximum potential and the developers have actually thought about this for a very long time. Now there is also a wine chiller over here that truly brings about party lifestyle. This wine chiller over here enables you to store all of your alcoholic beverages so that when all of your guests, friends and family come over, they can actually have a really nice time drinking wine while having a really nice dinner under the beautiful chandelier. Let's head over to the wet kitchen. So this is the wet kitchen. The wet kitchen is nicely sequestered away in your living room and when you actually come into the wet kitchen, you will see that it is one of the largest wet kitchens that you will see in most houses in Singapore. That's because this penthouse is 7,244 square feet and the wet kitchen actually takes up a sizable amount of space in this entire penthouse. Now you can see that there is also a maid's room over here for your helper to live in and there is a foldable bed here which is an added utility that helps to save space so that this 7,244 square feet is actually fully maximised out. And as I mentioned at the dry kitchen earlier, the appliances are all top tier and of the highest grade. You actually have your washing machines, which are also Mili appliances, as well as your refrigerator, which is Mili appliance as well. Last but not least, in this kitchen, not only do you have a helper's room with a foldable bed, you actually have a helper's toilet as well in the kitchen for your helper, so that your helper has her own private toilet. Now you may think that this is the end of the property tour but you've only seen about 2,000 plus to 3,000 square feet of usable space. There is so much more to show you. Now when you open this door you actually come into a nice private lift landing lobby where you can actually receive all of your guests. Your guests can either come by this lift or by the main entrance and this actually acts as a very nice receiving lobby or a main foyer where you can actually receive all of your guests. Now if you can see, this corridor actually looks like the usual corridor of a condominium where you have multiple apartments at each end 
And this just shows how large this penthouse of 7,244 square feet actually is. Now this is the second part of the penthouse and this is where all the bedrooms are at. Now this is the master bedroom and this master bedroom is absolutely spectacular. It is huge and one of the largest master bedrooms you will see in the entire Singapore itself. Now a normal master bedroom in most new launches have a size of around 14 meters square but you can clearly see that this master bedroom is massive, gigantic and just enormous. So if you actually see, this is not the end of the master bedroom. The master bedroom actually features a very unique walk-in wardrobe which is sequestered right at the end of the master bedroom itself. Now coming into this walk-in wardrobe, you will see that the master bedroom is not the only thing that is massive. This walk-in wardrobe is so big and has so many compartments for you to actually put all your clothes, all your accessories, all your bags, all your shoes, all your branded and luxury items. Now that's not all. You still have the master bathroom. And this master bathroom is amazing. There is a his and a her sink. There is also a bathtub as well, which is huge for you to use. There is even a toilet bowl with a bidet as well, which increases your washing experience. And there is a beautiful shower over here, which increases the showering experience. All of the materials over here are also fully made out of marble material as well, which fully increases your entire bathroom experience. So this family room is a place where you can play with all of your kids or you can even invite your guests over here to come to this area as well. Now this area here I think is really nice if you and your family actually have a nice game of Monopoly or you play some board games or you can actually put a TV over here or you can put your Xbox or your PlayStation over here for your kids to play as well. But of course if you don't want them to be too distracted from school or from work then you can just have a nice game of cards over here for example. Now on to the other bedrooms. This is the second bedroom and this bedroom is just magnificent. Now this bedroom is much larger than most new launchers will actually give you. New launchers for the second or third bedroom normally give you a size of around 9 meters square but this bedroom can comfortably fit a queen size bed, a study area, a huge wardrobe for you to put all your clothes and accessories and a huge shelf on top for you to put all your books, all your statues, all your designs, even your flowers and your lamps as well. This bedroom is simply magnificent. Now let's head over to the Jack and Jill toilet, which is attached to this bedroom as well. This bathroom is incredible. This bathroom is huge, spacious, luxurious, and fully made out of marble tiles for your living experience. Let's head over to the next bedroom. So now if you think you've seen it all with the bedrooms as well as the living room, that's not all for this penthouse. This penthouse also comes with a private bar and a huge collection of alcohol that you can actually display in this gigantic wine rack. Now if you're an alcohol lover or a wine lover, this penthouse truly is one of the most perfect penthouses for you. This bar area can actually seat up to six people and you can imagine yourself drinking a nice glass of Smirnoff or Martell or vodka under this amazing crystal chandelier which creates an incredible ambiance for all of your guests to come and have a nice cocktail party. Let's head over to the outdoor roof terrace. This outdoor terrace is really the cream of the crop for true luxury experiences. This dining area over here can fit around six people. You even have a barbecue area as well. This barbecue area added on with your open concept kitchen downstairs as well as your bar inside really brings out the entire party experience for true luxury dining. Now if you come over to this side, you can actually see that you have your own private swimming pool which is a length of 18 feet which is really really long for a private pool. You even have your own sun bed where all of your guests can actually chill and enjoy a really relaxing and wonderful time swimming, chilling and having a nice barbecue experience. Marina One Residences is part of a 3.67 million square feet award-winning premier integrated development located at the heart of the prestigious Marina Bay Financial District. It is one of the newest and largest integrated developments that has been completed 
and is home to many multinational corporations and financial institutions. Some of the established corporate giants actually include Swiss private bank Julius Bayer, consultancy PwC Singapore, financial services provider Prudential, ride-hailing platform Grab, BP Global Oil Company, and many more. Marina One is at the cusp of URA's 2014 master plan for the central area, which includes the planned transformation of the city towards Marina South and the Greater Southern Waterfront. This will further accelerate Marina One's intrinsic values, ensuring long-term capital appreciation and significant growth as Singapore continues to expand to create a new waterfront city. Marina One Residences is spread across two 34-storey towers with various configurations ranging from one to four bedroom units and luxurious penthouses offering different panoramic views of the Singapore skyline. All units are fitted with the best names in home furnishing such as Mili, Poggenpo and Villeroy and & Bosch. A retail podium called The Hut will offer a variety of unique lifestyle and dining outlets including a 26,000 square feet Virgin Active Fitness Club, a 10,000 square feet cold storage supermarket, a cookhouse food court and various F&B outlets. The Pulse is a double-storey event space with public terraces, water features and gardens to provide entertainment to residents and visitors. Marina One Residences reinforces Singapore's city in a garden concept with its architecturally unique green heart of a biodiversity garden, including its access and outlook to the adjoining two green lungs at Marina Station Square and Central Linear Park. The all-important connectivity is unsurpassed with access to four MRT lines and links to MRT stations at Marina Bay Interchange Station, downtown and the upcoming Shenton Way Station opening in 2021. In addition, Marina One is located just off major expressways, providing access to the rest of the island and beyond. Marina One Singapore also received recognition for its sustainable and environmentally friendly project, BCA Green Mark Platinum Rating for Marina One Residences, BCA Green Mark Platinum Rating for Marina One East Tower and Marina One West Tower, LEED Platinum Pre-Certified for Marina One Singapore East Tower and Marina One West. So the architects of Marina One Singapore include a design architect from Germany and a landscape architect from London. So principal architect Christoph Ingenhoven is world renowned and probably best known for founding the architectural studio of Ingenhoven Architects, which has today become one of the world's leading architectural practices in sustainable design. The determining factor in Ingenhoven Architects' work is ecology, the well-being of the user, technological progress, a logical construction with a clean finish, as well as great sensitivity towards light and space. The landscape architect from London includes the development of Gustafsson Porter's design work, which has continuously pushed the boundaries of what constitutes the field of landscape. They have developed a reputation for creating innovative and contemporary landscape design. Their core strength lies in their design skills and the ability to deliver high quality designs on high profile projects. In Marina One residences, you actually have various facilities available for you. At level two, you have a private dining room, landscaped garden, private lounge, concierge counter, gymnasium, multi-purpose room, as well as a residence clubhouse. In level three, you have the putting green, male and female changing rooms with sauna and steam rooms, a pool deck, a children's pool, a wellness sanctuary, pavilion, relaxation cabana, an aquatic gym pool, a 50 meters lab pool, a barbecue terrace, as well as a jacuzzi. The developer of Marina One Residences is M plus S, which is the joint venture owned by the Sovereign Wealth Funds of Singapore and Malaysia, respectively Tamasic Holdings and Kazana National Berhad. During the opening launch of Marina One Residences, Mr. Lee Sien Long actually mentioned that Marina One Residences is going to be an iconic project in the middle of the new business district for many, many years to come. It is going to be a project which both Tamasic Holdings and Kazana National will be proud of and will thrive and prosper and add to Singapore and Malaysia as well as to our combined friendship. Nearby Marina One Residences, there are many tourist destinations available for you. One of them includes the MBS Shops Singapore, and others include the Art Science Museum, Gardens by the Bay, Marina Barrage, as well as the Mer Lion. Okay, so a stone's throw away from Marina One Residences itself is this row of unique and iconic conservation shop houses. Now, all of these shop houses in the Tanjong Baga district has actually been classified as conservation by URA itself. And these shop houses actually have unique heritage dating all the way back to the 1900s. Now, this particular shop house is 89 New Road, where the Tiger Bound factory used to be held and produced. But currently, Shake Shack, which is one of the largest F&B and burger chains in the entire world, actually tenants itself at 89 New Road itself. 
So this row of conservation shop houses are actually here for you nearby if you stay at Marina One residences. So you've taken a look at 89 New Road as well as Shake Shack. But guess where we're at right now? We are at the Porcelain Hotel, which is conveniently located at Moss Street, right beside Chinatown MRT. Now, this street is really a stone's throw away from Marina One residences, and it brings about a nostalgic as well as eclectic experience for anybody who wants to come down to these row of shop houses to actually experience the F&B lifestyle along Moss Street. And Porcelain Hotel is one of the most iconic and memorable cultural heritage sites in this place as well. Shop houses in Singapore, were built as early as the 1800s. They traditionally served as a home and place of business for a merchant and his family. The fundamental form of the shop house was originally based on traditional Chinese houses in southern China, where the majority of Singapore's early immigrants were from. During the early days, shop house foundations were made from locally sourced and manufactured bricks set in lime mortar. And the shop houses were either two or three stories tall, with business premises on the ground floor and living accommodations on the upper floor. Towards the turn of the century, however, richer business owners also sometimes built townhouses as a dedicated residence for themselves. They would modify existing shop houses by adding an extra story and enhancing the facade with beautiful decorative embellishments. The ground floor, which would have been used for a shop, then functioned as a main hall for receiving guests instead. Wealthier folks could actually afford to stay downtown and in the suburbs like Katong in the east coast of Singapore. However, the working class, like Samsui women and coolies, dwelt mainly in basic shop houses in and around Chinatown. So this was closer to the areas of commerce and work. These no-frill shop houses were meant to merely serve as a place of lodging and rest for workers and their families. Therefore, comfort was usually the last thing on their minds. If you walk the streets of Singapore today, you will see skyscrapers, high-rise residential buildings, and sleek modern infrastructure. However, you will also see that scattered throughout the island of Singapore, there are many quaint shop houses of varying styles. They range from the early generation shop houses in Chinatown to richly ornamented Peranakan style shop houses along Kun Seng Road. Nestled amidst our developed city's landscape, they actually stand out as a remembrance of an era past. Singapore shop houses truly are icons that reflect our history and heritage. So we've come to the end of this luxury property tour today at Marina One Residences with a penthouse of a size 7,244 square feet. Welcome to the first ever luxury property tour series by Sam from The Dream Team.